Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Obsessive Compulsive Gaming. I am the Obsessive Compulsive Gamer, and today we're going to do something a little bit different, dear viewers. I thought that today it could be rather enlightening slash amusing to tell you all what it is like to be a true gaming addict. So yes, dear viewers, I, Ruben Crowley, OCG, Obsessive Compulsive Gamer, am indeed a gaming addict. That means that I spend the majority of my day, you guessed it, master, I mean, playing video games. Retro games, new releases, if I can afford them, more on that in a moment. Games I played once, games I played a hundred times before, games I promised I would never play ever, ever, ever again. Hello Skyrim, how the hell are you doing? A hernia, you say? Oh, that's too bad. In fact, I would go so far as to say that apart from gaming and, of course, editing videos for this channel, I do very little else during the day. And this isn't just one day a week, or two days a week, or three days a week, or even four days a week. No, I would pretty much say this is a consistent seven days a week kind of habit of mine. Rather like sleeping, or going to the toilet, or complaining about the amount of money in my bank account. Those are also activities I do daily. And while I do absolutely adore my gaming, which you would think I would because I pretty much spend the majority of my time doing that, it does have the odd negative effect on me, for example, as someone who is not abundant in money, trying to buy the latest games as well as the latest indie video games, the latest new releases, can be quite a burden. And when there is games I am unable to afford or cannot buy, because I can't afford it, so I suppose that's still the same thing as what I was saying two seconds ago. I become mighty irritated. In fact, some might say I become a spoiled child. Which is, uh, not realistic, because the last time I checked, I'm not a child. Unless, of course, when they say behaving like a child, they don't mean I am literally a child. I'm just behaving like a child would behave. I don't know. So yes, it does affect my mood. Just the same as if I'm being forced to go somewhere I really do not want to go. Like to the supermarket, or to my psychiatrist, or to deliver groceries to the old bastard who lives three houses down with the weird growth on his asshole. I do miss my gaming and I can become quite irritable. So let's recap. Lack of money, lack of sleep because I spend so often gaming, lack of appetite because sometimes I completely forget to eat while I am gaming. Sometimes I even forget to go to the bathroom, but we're not here to discuss that. Oh, that reminds me. Must go and empty that bucket once I've exported this video. Now, you might think I'm making this video to act as a kind of warning to all you would-be gaming addicts out there, but, uh, no. That's not why I made this video at all. I absolutely love being a gaming addict, and I wouldn't change it for the world. No, I, I just made this video as a little experiment to see if all you commoners out there would like to hear me talk about this kind of thing. That's all. I'm not complaining about being a gaming addict. Though it is mighty bloody annoying when I can't afford to get every single new game that comes out that I want. I love gaming, 
and long may it continue. Unless, of course, a masked maniac breaks into my house and murders me while I've got my back turned to him, but, uh, <laughs> the odds of that happening are very slim. Are uh, they? What was that noise? Hello? Hello? I must warn you, sir. I know karate. And taekwondo. And I'm a pretty decent ballet dancer as well. Oh, sorry, did I say ballet dancer? I meant belly dancer. Belly dancer.